Hey everybody, look what I got for my birthday. Full Midway Premium Hot Dog Roller Grill. Something I always wanted. Kathy got this for me for my birthday. And I'm going to open it and show you what's inside. And later I'm going to make my supper with this. It'd be like a party. <laughs> It'd be like old Midway, like the carnival. Big hot dog roller. Always wanted one. Here, I'll show you what's inside. Let's open it up. It's heavy. Look how heavy it is. How heavy is that? Maybe 20 pounds or something. Gonna have a good supper tonight. Ooh, another box. Mmm. Styrofoam. Ooh, two boxes. There's another box under there. Okay, so one. And a bigger one. Let's open this one. What do you think this is? Meat? More styrofoam. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Last leg. Cover. A snooze guard. Perhaps. Well, last of the sides there, just. Not break these. Alright. Help me, help me! Okay, I'm gonna have to put it together. I see a couple screws there. Look at this. Whoa. That's glass. These are gonna be the cover. We'll see. Look like they all wings in cars, don't they? Um, wing windows. Careful with them. Wow. Okay, there's that. Well, this must be the grill. The roller grill. Want some? You always wanted one of these too, didn't you? You know you did. Oh! Whoa! Odie Midway. Whoa. Instruction manual. See, he has a glass lid there. You'll see. Yes. It's heavy. We. Separate plug here. We need a lot of boxes. All right, look. Oh. It's perfect. Okay, let's look. Nice, look at that. Wow. I see it has a tray here in the back for grease welcome to the front too. <laughs> okay should I read the instructions on how to put that cover or that guard on I see two fuses here in the bag as well see them is that a sign of things to come let's check this out Come on, give me a quick start manual. I think you can get 18 hot dogs on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six times three, 18. But I have three different types of meat I'm gonna make later after I put this together. I have Kansas City steak hot dogs. I have long Thuman brand hot dogs. They're real good. And I have some sausage I'm gonna put on there because you can roll sausage on there too. Gabasi. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. All right, not too many pages. I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna put this cover on, okay? Hang on. First, we have to remove these four screws. One, two, three, four. I don't know if you're gonna assemble one of these, but if you are, you can watch this. I should get my electric screwdriver, shouldn't I? I'll do it by hand, old fashioned way. Then, you do the same thing on the other side, but then you put this glass bracket on here. This is a glass mounting bracket for the shield or guard, whatever you want to call it. Screw that back in. Then you take the front and you put it there. I looked at the picture to see which direction they go. Screw it back in. Then you take one side piece of glass. Again, I referred to the picture here. And slide it in. See? Do the same thing to the other side. And then we're going to put the round top piece on. Okay, let me finish that. I'm also going to clean these up a little bit. So they look nice and shiny. Got a lot of fingerprints and dust on right now. I have the other two side mounts connected and shined up. That stays in there pretty firmly. Now, let's read the instructions for the top piece. You really have to be careful with this. This is heavy and it's real glass. <laughs> There's another space back here that slides right on top of there. Easy. You could get these also without the glass. You could buy them just as a roller, but the glass on top, it'll be handy for picnics outside. Nobody will get behind it and burn themselves or, you know, get them dirty somehow. Do that. Then you have a metal strip that goes on top with screw and a nut there. I'm gonna take that out, put that in. And it says, do not over tighten. You might break the glass. We don't want to do that. Not yet, anyway. Oh, if I didn't mention, there is holes drilled in the glass there on each side. Line these edges up with the top so they're flush. Flip this over by lining the hole up here. <laughs> you just want to see some food, huh? So do I. I didn't know I'd have to put all this together, but it wasn't that bad. So I dropped one. I see there's extra in the bag too, extra nuts and bolts. Easy, easy. Hey, I got it. I think I'm gonna just try it without pliers or anything, just tighten this. Yeah. That's all I wanna do. I, I held it in the back, I tightened it there because we don't wanna crack it. Same thing to the other side. And we're ready. Almost time to eat. There it is. All put together. Let's plug it in. I'm gonna wipe these rollers off with a clean wet cloth and dry them up. And it also says to apply oil to them the first time. In the book here it says, before the first use, apply a small amount of vegetable oil onto the surface of the rollers. Press the power switch on. <laughs> Nice long cord. This goes in the back. Oh, I see where the fuse is back there if you have to replace it. There's also a ground back there. Easy. Plug it in. For the first time. Did they light up? Nope, not yet. Okay, power. They're spinning already. See? This has seven rollers. The front controls, see it go green? The front controls the first four rollers and the back controls the last three rollers. So when you're cooking up here and you got them to the temperature you want, put them on the back and keep them warm at whatever temperature you like. Don't burn yourself now. That's going to be nice, isn't it? For the person who has everything, 
what can you give them? Give them a hot dog roller. <laughs> yeah, they're getting warm. Okay. All right, let me turn this off. Clean these up. Put some oil on them. Season them up a little. And I'll be back when it's time to eat. Pretty soon. I'm hungry. The time has come. It's time to heat it up. There's my Thuman Frankfurters. These are long, skinny ones. We got six of those. Got our favorite Kansas City steak, beef, hot dogs, four plump ones, and five Johnsonville brats with cheddar inside. We're going to put them on there too. You like that idea, don't you? Turn the power on. Turn these up around 350 to start with. I cleaned them off and I oiled it down like the instructions said. Open them up. I don't think I'm going to put any slits in here. You know how I like to put slices in them when I cook on the grill or fry them? Why? I don't know. I'm going to make them like the quickie mark. Now this is a lot for my supper, but... Oh, the first one! Look at it! But I wanted to fill it up for the first time. Show you how it's gonna be in a party. Isn't that nice? You gotta come over closer. Because it's exciting. <laughs> Smell it already. Whew. Get these skinny guys out. So easy. I remember when they get. Oh, these are connected. Holy cow, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Oh, two of them are connected. Must be from Schenectady. Put them on too. Uh, fun. Where them sausages going to fit? They fit somewhere. Each pair was connected like that. All right, they're gonna fit all the way up there. Where are we gonna get these fatties at? Make room for fatty. Hmm. Maybe I'm just gonna be able to get two of these on there. It's gonna be full like I wanted. Now, if these are curved, like they curved in the package, just straighten them out a little. They might not roll until they get cooked a little bit. Let's see. You gonna roll? You gonna roll? How you gonna roll? It's gonna roll. Ooh, no most. Flying out a little bit. I'll keep an eye on them till they get rounder. Okay, just make two of those. These are regular size hot dogs. This would fit 18. Three across. But we ain't regular. Spread out a little bit. Isn't that delicious looking? Sure is. We're going to keep an eye on this. And I was looking for some fries. I was going to put some, not, I wasn't going to put fries on there, but fries will go good with these hot dogs and sausages. And I couldn't find any. Then I was looking for potatoes and I couldn't find any. But I found two big sweet potatoes. So I'm going to slice them up quick and easy. Maybe I'll slice up one, see how many I get out of it. Cut them nice and thin and fry them up in the air fryer. How's that sound? All right, let me clean this up. Place it thin, I'll show you. I'm going to put it in my air fryer right there. All ready for you, see? It's going to smell good in here. Indoor picnic. I decided to use this one big one, cut it in half, and make skinny fries out of that. Crunchy sweet potato fries. See what I mean? Here they are. That's enough. That's one big tater. Sweet potato. Have the air fryer preheated. Set it on french fry for 400. Put these in the basket. <laughs> spray them up with a little olive oil spray. Flip them around. Spray them a little bit more. Going in. 
Now that's going to take maybe, let's see how many minutes are on that. Nine. Let's go back up to 15. Okay. And these over here smell so delicious. You know they do. Maybe by the 15 minutes that that takes, these will be ready. But I want them crunchy. Real crunchy. I wish you could smell it in here. It smells so good. Heard a couple pops and I looked over here and I remember I didn't cut the casings on the hot dogs. One of them skinny ones slid open a little bit. That's okay, I like it. Look. Oh, natural. Yeah. I did poke a couple holes with a fork and the sausage in the back there. It smells so good. You need one of these, don't you? I did. Can't wait to eat it. Sizzle vision. They're not in a straight line anymore, you see that? Remember they were nice and straight? They're walking over. The old beef hot dogs are holding up good. I poke a couple fork holes through the sausage in the back there. And the rippers are ripping. Yes, they are. Mm. The next time I'll slice these dogs. But for the first time, I want to see what would happen. If these are still good. I'll poke them a little bit. Don't mess around with them now. They're good. They're firm. Huh. Can't resist messing around with them though, can you? No. <laughs> hey, stop it. At the Quickie Mart. How long has it been? It's been 25 minutes. The sausage in the back is 178 degrees, which is good. I'm going to eat one of each in the front. I'm going to turn the heat down. Turn the heat down now. I have the back on higher than the front for the sausage. Turn it down 200, both of them. I'm going to have one of each of these, and then I'm going to have a cheese stuffed sausage sandwich. Brats, brats, or brats, or whatever they are. <laughs> Johnsonville. You like it? I like it. Can't even see the shield I put up there. Remember? Glass. Nice. See the drip tray? Not much in there. Just from the sausage. Easy to clean. Alright, let me get my buns ready. <laughs> Remember I wanted them crunchy. Well, well, they're sweet potato fries anyway, so they're a little darker in color. Oh boy, well you like them. I think you're going to like them like that. A little salt on there. It's gonna go good with these carnival doggies. These buns cut. Now if you have a party and as you take these off, you can add a couple more, you know? Keep them on the perfect temperature. Mm. That was the Thumin. I like that brand of meat. I don't know if you get that where you are. And Kansas City Steak Doggies. Next time I will put a little slit in all of them, either long ways or sideways. I turn that down. I'm gonna keep the sausage on there. Cook it a little bit more. Cause I like it like that. My first carnival hot dogs at home. Old Midway. For my birthday. Thank you. You're welcome, of course. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> now, how you like your dogs? I cut up an onion too while I was bored. I like onions. I like pickles. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna cut that spear down a little bit, Brittany. These are spears. How do you like yours? We got a place around here called Jimmy's Hot Dogs and it's pretty much just like that with mustard. 
If you can't relish putting ketchup on it, just put relish on it. Or Okay, first. I almost give me some things. Oh, look at these fries. Good. What are they gonna be like? <laughs> They're fries. I like the crunchy ones. All right, they work. Mm-hmm. They are sweet. I don't know why they call them sweet potatoes. You know that? Just eat, would you? You know what we got here. Let's try that on skinny one first. With sweet potatoes on the side. <laughs> what was that? Oh. A plump pickle popped up into my poker. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. What'd you say? Mmm. Thumans is good. <laughs> You're gonna have one, right? Oh yeah. Which one do you want? Oh, you, look, look what she's gonna put on. Uh, I do. Ketchup and cheese. <laughs> mm. Thumans is good. All right, Julie, here's these Kansas City beef hot dogs. Mmm, all beef. Mmm, smoking. <laughs> well, you can sit here and watch me eat hot dogs all night. What should I put on that sausage? I could treat it just like a hot dog today, because I want to. Huh. Yeah. I'm just showing y'all a sample. And how it works and why you need one. Get it for that birthday person. You can put Knockwurst on there, brockwurst, hot dogs. You want some cheese on that one? Oh, sausage? Uh, it's got cheese in it. All right. Cheesy brock. Oh, I should stick that in the end of it. No. <laughs> Just put it on top. Okay, this is what she does with hot dogs. I put it in the roll first. Oh, in the roll. Or on the side. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, like that. <sighs> <laughs> I like that. How about like this too? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> How about some relish? Nah. Bad enough we got cheese wet. <laughs> cheese wet. Oh, there's cheese inside. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. All right, this is a feast for me. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's like when you get a new car, you stare at it all day. Thanks for stopping by. Check these out if you need one. Or put it on your birthday wish list. You know what I need now? What do you need? Bigger kitchen. <laughs> Where am I gonna put this thing? <laughs> It'd be nice if it could stay there if you have a bigger counter than I have. Or one less appliance. Okay, thanks for stopping by. 
I'll talk to you soon. Please subscribe. We're going to finish eating this. So delicious. See you. <laughs> Getting better, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can talk with a mouthful. I was in Silver Quest. You know I was in Silver Quest? Yeah, he said it. Yeah, I didn't say it. My high school maker's talking over here. <laughs> oh. I just had to come back quick to show you how nice it cleaned up. Wasn't that bad. I had a damp cloth. I, let, I turned the heat all the way down. And when it cooled, the rollers still roll. But it's cool. I used a wet towel. And in the back where the sausage was, it was extra hard to get off. So I have this scraper that we clean the cast iron pan with. You know, one of these tools. This is for scraping the cast iron pan. Or you could use a plastic spatula maybe. But I had to show you how clean it came. And I took the tray out and cleaned that out too. Easy. Took probably 12, 15 minutes to clean it completely. All right, thanks for watching. It was so good. So full, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dessert. Something good though. See you soon.